Hello people of the internet, um, I am back. Um, in today's video I'm just gonna go over all the stuff that I got given with um, my cochlear implant. Um, I'm still, I still haven't got it switched on but I've got all of the equipment. I'm getting it switched on tomorrow. Um, but look, I've got like a, pro it's a proper backpack. Uh, I thought they were joking when they said that I'd get a full backpack of stuff. I thought they were just, I thought they were exaggerating, but no, it is an actual big backpack. Um, it's not super heavy, um, like I can lift it with one arm without a huge amount of effort. So it's maybe three kilograms worth of equipment. Um, so I'm just gonna, going to go through it. Um, so in the main pocket, um, I've got this little case thing and in this this is kind of where this is the like main essential stuff um, that I have been given so if I open it up it's like this it's got like little compartments and everything in it um, for all of the stuff um, so first things first I've got my processor um, I have tried like I have stuck it on my head before um, so this just goes on uh, goes on like that uh, on my on on your head um, that's kind of the bit that actually allows you to hear that's the kind of main this is the main thing um, the battery is detachable um, it just goes on and take it off so this is the processor so I've got two of these this type of battery um, so I've got this one and the one that's on the processor and this one these are rechargeable um, these are the kind of standard rechargeable batteries um, I've also got a mini rechargeable battery which is um, basically the same it's just a bit smaller um these you can just recharge overnight with the charger um so it's just like a, a micro usb cable and um this and you just clip the batteries onto there so let me put it on to show you you can just put the batteries on like that and it, you can charge two batteries at the same time like like that so you could have two batteries on that I'll put the mini one mini one and one big one so you've got that also got um, a remote control um, there are instructions for the remote control. I'll show you all the instructions I've got as well um, and that's got a volume up volume down program up program down and telecoil button um, it's just got like an on and off switch um, got that um i've also got um a s different alternative magnet for the coil so um the magnet that's in the coil at the moment is the kind of number two strength this is a number three strength i'm guessing these are kind of the two most common they've actually they actually do like five different strengths or something but i think two and three must be the most common because these are the ones i was given um I have also got a um, this, which is another battery. It's an adapter to use it with um, disposable batteries. So um, it just goes like that. You can just take it in and out. And it clips on the processor and everything in the same way. Um, I've also been given um, one pack of disposable batteries um let me get them out <laughs> um yeah one pack of disposable batteries and the adapter um these are just six seven five batteries which are the same ones that my hearing aid uses so that's kind of convenient um they're like the biggest size of like hearing aid batteries um or the biggest standard size they might make like other they might do other sizes in like other countries or something but that's they're the biggest ones that I know of. Um, so you've got all of that stuff. Let me just pop 
pile up. There. Then um, I've also got this box. Um, this has kind of all of the extras in it. Let me open this up. Um, so this has oh, oh, this has all of this stuff in it. Um, so I've got a spare coil. Um, this is an eight centimeter one, whereas the one I've got on my processor is five centimeters. They also make like different lengths, like some they do like a 11 centimeters and 25 centimeters, I think. But I've just been given the five centimeter and eight centimeter. I guess those are the most popular styles. Um, I've also got a wall plug kind of USB adapter so I can plug the charger into the wall. Um, I've got, oh, I'll get to that in a sec, I've got this which is a um, pen slash screwdriver, it's like a screwdriver on one end and a pen on the other end. Um, I would assume that that's for um, changing the batteries on the remote um, and there's like a thing on, there's a thing on the battery pack on the processor where you can kind of lock it with a screwdriver, um, at least on the disposable one. I'm not sure if it's on the re um, rechargeable ones as well. Um, I think that's so children can't like open it and take the batteries out and like eat them and poison themselves. Um, so there's that. Um, I've also got um, two different safety cord options. There's the kind of single one which is just for one processor. Um, these, they've got, um, they've got kind of like a little rubber loop at one end that you put around the processor and a clip that can clip onto your clothes. So if you're doing something sporty, um, it like stops it falling off. Um, you've also got the double one, which is if you've got two processors, or I guess you could use it for one processor and a hearing aid. Um, Again, clips to your clothing, it's pretty standard. Um, um, I've got two different drying things. So these ones are um, like the kind of portable travel ones. Um, so if you were going on holiday somewhere and you didn't want to take your whole drying equipment, I'll show you the drying equipment in, in a minute. Um, you could just put one of these little tablets in the first in the in this case um, and keep your store your processor in there. Um, and these are dry bricks um, for your kind of at home drying system, which is a little bit more um, heavy duty. Um, that. You've also got like a little cleaning cloth thing, so I guess that's if your processor gets a bit like dusty or horrible you can like just wipe it um then um let me just try and keep myself organized here um i have um microphone covers um the microphone covers are let me show you on the processor it's this bit here um that needs changing every three months. So I've got several microphone covers. Um, there, I then have the snug fit option, which is um, a thing that you can use to make it hold more securely onto your ear, rather than just using the standard ear hook, um, if that's something you want to do. Um, there is a, kind of a small, medium and large of those that I've got. So I've showed you the medium this is the small and this is the large. Um, I've then got um, spare ear hooks in medium and large. Um, so there's the medium and there's the large as well. I'm not going to show you a physical one. Then I've got um, these kind of ear hook things which are to adapt it. So you can put an ear mould onto it, um, which will basically just 
you won't be able to hear anything through the ear mould, it's just to kind of help it stay on your ear better, um, if that's something you want to do. I've also got the, what they call the koala clip, which is a thing that you can use to clip the processor to your clothes, and you'd have a longer coil going up to your head, and the processor on your clothes, so that means that you don't have anything on your ear, um, in case you want to, um, I don't know, in, I think a lot of children have it like that, or um, if you're doing something sporty and you know don't want anything on your ears, that's um, kind of your option. So that's everything in that box. Um, we're not even we're not even close to being done yet. So <laughs> you get a lot of stuff. Then um, you've got the um, Aqua Plus Activity Kit. Um, so, it's like this, um, you have, let me open this up, two Aqua Plus cases, I'll get one up, okay. two Aqua Plus cases which are like this, um, those are, you use them to water, waterproof your processor, um, when you're going swimming. I've also got a magnet for it. Um, well, I should, the, you have to use a special coil with it as well. Um, so here's the special coil that I need to use with the Aqua Plus. It's got blue on it so you can tell them apart. Um, and here's the magnet for it. Um, there are then two safety lines. Um, these are like much thinner and like um, more discreet than the safety lines I've got in the other box. Um, these are more, these are for the Aqua Plus. Um, I've then got these um, mini lock stirrups. Um, you won't really be able to see them in the packet and I haven't opened the packet yet. Um, they are like little kind of transparent um kind of tubey things that you use to um put on the aqua plus thing to kind of connect this bit to this bit so it wraps completely around your ear and that's just to make it more secure when you're swimming um let's just shove all of this stuff kind of vaguely back into into position in the case so I'm not not completely so it's right over there. Okay. And then the last kind of main big box I was given is the um breeze dry and store. This is the drying equipment. So I open this up. This is what it looks like. So what you have is um, this kind of main drying box. You can open it up and you have a desiccant brick um, in here, which is the thing I showed you in the other box. This is where you put your um, cochlear implant processor. You can, also, um, you can also use it to dry hearing aids. So um, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> um, and you put it in here overnight. Um, there's a plug there, so you also have your, um, have like a wire and a plug, and you plug this into the wall, um, and there's an on and off button, so at night you just take your processor, um, or, and, and slash, or hearing aid off, put it in there, and just press that button to turn it on and that kind of dries it all out and makes sure there's no like moisture or anything inside it that could make it break. Um, so that's that. So that's all of the kind of um, physical equipment that I've got. Um, so I'm now just going to go through the kind of paperwork that you also get. Um, it's a lot, it's, 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 it's a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, this is everything. Right. 
So I've got this much paperwork. Um, I have diagram of how to use the charger. Um, nuclear 7 sound processor guide for clinicians. Um, basically just tells you kind of what it is and who should be using it. Um, addressed envelope with a form, I've already completed it, to um, like register your processor. So I need to post this off to Switzerland. I looked to see if there was an option to like register your processor um, through their website, but I think you, you have to post a thing off to Switzerland. Um, I've got um, a thing to claim your true wireless device. Um, you have the choice of the um, mini microphone, TV streamer, or phone clip. Um, that is a remote control for a bone anchor tearing aid, um, which isn't what I've got. So if you have one of those, you can choose that, but I don't need that, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so you have to go on their website and you can choose which one you want and you get that for free. You get one of those for free and if you want to buy extras, you can buy them. I think they're about between 200 and 300 pounds. Um, so they're quite expensive, but you know, it's there if you want it. Um, there's a leaflet, um, welcome to a world of sound. You've got a patient identification card um, which is what you can show to people in like airports and stuff so um, they don't get cross with you if the um, metal detector goes off. Um, there are kind of photos of various people who have cochlear implants playing the guitar and um, it's just kind of um, discover your new way of hearing and like instructions on how to get the best results like um helping you know what to tell other people about how they can speak to you best um there's a thing about children um how to like help your child get used to their sound processor um yeah it's that um then you've got a um user guide for the cochlear slimline coils um this is all in english so you kind of have to read the whole thing um then there's a guide to the aqua plus coils um again this is all in english you need to read the whole thing um so i've got those two um you've got the Nuclear 7 Aqua Plus Guide. This is massive. This is in um, multiple languages, so you only need to read um, this much is how much you need to read. You only need to read it in one language. Um, you don't need to read the, you don't need to read this whole thing. Um, then you have, I'll put it back in the packet. I have actually read these. Um, this is the user guide for the actual sound processor. Um, this is the kind of condensed um, quick reference, they call it, um, on how to use it. Um, there is your warranty information. Um, it's a massive bit of paper. Your warranty information. Um, sound processor user guide. This is um, all in English. Um, you have to read this whole thing. Um, I've already read it. Um, then you have a um, thing about this nuclear smart app. Um, I'll put this back into it. I have read these. Um, so um, you've got two booklets. One is for the Android app, and one is for the um, Apple iPhone app. Um, so obviously you only need to read the one that's um, for the um, phone that you have. Um, you don't need to read the other one. Um, there is two, these are the pairing guides for how to like pair your 
some processor to your phone. Um, this is for Android and they also have one for the um, Apple as well and you can uh, obviously you only have to read the one for the one that you have. Um, and then there's this bit of paper that's to check the streaming status. Um, then I have um, a user guide for the remote control. Um, again, this is all in English. You have to read the whole thing. Um, then I've got a thing about a leaflet on how to join Cochlear Family. This you can join online. You don't have to post anything off. So that's good. Um, I think that's everything that I've been given. Um, obviously, um, this is just what I've got from the UK um, on the NHS, Southampton Auditory Implant Service. This is kind of what they give you. Um, I'm not sure. It might vary in other countries. Um, if anyone's got um, a different manufacturer of cochlear implant or... Um, they have received something different in another country. Um, leave it in the comments because um, I, I wish I'd known how much stuff I was going to be given before I got this. I had no idea. Um, so it would be really helpful if anyone has ha got like a, a different brand. Um, I know Medel do provide you with like a whole backpack of stuff as well. Don't know about Advanced Bionics. Um, yes, so um, if anyone has any different experiences, let me know what you got. Um, yes, thank you. I hope that if I get, I, was, I had the thought, I was like, I hope that if I ever get my um, other ear um, done, they don't give me all this stuff again. <laughs> like, what am I going to do with all of that? Um, they probably won't. <laughs> if I say I've already got the stuff, they probably won't give me all of that. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll keep you updated about my um, switch on tomorrow. My mum's going to film when they actually switch it on. So yeah, that's going to be seeing that soon. Um, okay, bye.